Hey, how you doing, Connect Groups? It's a No Frills Friday. Uh, it actually is a um, uh, Good Friday. So I have no musical introductions, no children in the background, uh, no dogs barking. Uh, just uh, a reflection on last Sunday with uh, Jesus coming into Jerusalem on a colt. Uh, cloaks were being thrown down. We know it is uh, Palm Sunday because of the palm branches that were cut and, and, and also laid at his feet. Uh, the point that <clears throat> I brought out was uh, regarding the humility that, that Jesus was showing. And uh, I kind of just took each of the storylines and, and made a case for why um, humility was being displayed. But um, if that wasn't convincing enough or if you're, you know, want to be um, uh, aware, Zechariah 9.9 prophesies that very event and in that prophecy uses the word humble uh, from Zechariah 9 9 humble and mounted on a donkey on a colt the foal of a donkey so it's that uh, it's the prophet who actually tells us that Jesus was operating out of humility in his approach into Jerusalem what I'm um, struck by is is how how many of our leaders that we work for or work under or serve under uh, would we characterize as as humble um, so one of the, the the points I think worthy of discussing uh, is uh, talk about how how that dynamic works what <laughs> would you rather work under someone humble or someone who's a self promoter and um, you know, talk about it from the standpoint of people that you work for professionally people that you may have served under in a, in a nonprofit or a church or it could be even in your own home just as you've seen the dynamic of humility uh, you know versus uh, self-promotion I guess when self-promotion goes even further it, it can turn to arrogance um, which is what we see when Jesus does come in in a humble way uh, and begins to teach during the Holy Week people are coming at him from all directions once again the opposition the arrogance the I know better we have a way and you don't uh, quite understand what you're doing Jesus we're gonna tell you how to do things I think we've all worked under a variety of leaders and and it'd be great to discuss uh, you know the aspects of humility working under and with a humble leader and then secondly with that being said how, how does one become humble you know if humility is a a trait uh, that we should aspire to we see it in Jesus we see it in Moses the scriptures are specific calling him uh, the most meek man, the most humble man at that time period. So if humility is a, some, is a goal, then how do we achieve it? What are some scriptures that come to mind? What are obstacles that need to be overcome? What are circumstances in our lives that have uh, helped humility become a, a, a reality? Uh, and and uh, you know, share those with one another. And then <clears throat> a dangerous prayer perhaps, but to close and say, Lord, make us like you we want to be humble we want to humble ourselves uh, Chronicles gives us that prayer language to humble ourselves and turn from our our wicked ways you know uh, we don't want to be humbled but we want to rather take the initiative and humble ourselves maybe uh, close in prayer and, and say Lord help us do that and and even in the prayer corporately as a connect group just uh, uh, use language that, that says Lord we're, we're humbling ourselves we're coming before you really in the same way Palm Sunday uh, participants did. We're laying down our cloaks, we're laying down our palm branches, we're lifting up our praise, we're, we're basically saying you're way up there and, and we're way down here. And that's the, the language and the attitude and the atmosphere uh, of humility and certainly of Palm Sunday. Um, so with today being Good Friday, we hope to see you tonight uh, for our worship and we're going to exalt Jesus in every way uh, possible through song, through prayer, uh, through uh, uh, media, uh, with the you know sole purpose of lifting up Jesus so that he can draw all men and women to himself. It is a good Friday. Jesus loved us so much that he died and gave his, his life for us. Uh, we don't think of it as a happy occasion, but I, I also don't think of it as a somber occasion uh, because I know that he loves me. And that provides an amazing sense of peace and joy in my heart and I hope in yours as well. Have a great uh, holiday weekend, Resurrection Sunday included. God bless you. Enjoy your connect group. 
whether you're meeting this weekend or the next.